A North Alabama Police Department mourning the loss of one of their own on a day meant to honor another officer lost almost eight months ago. Way 31's Nicole Zedek joins us live from the Sheffield Police Department this evening. Nicole, how are they holding up? It's still so fresh, Marie. I mean, both the loss of Sergeant Nick Reisner, who died in the line of duty last October, and even more so the loss of Officer John Christian Nix, who died of suicide just last night. Now, today, the Rotary Club honored Sergeant Reisner for his service and presented his family with the Officer of the Year Award. And while that in itself is a bittersweet award, recognizing Nick for making the ultimate sacrifice, the ceremony was even more somber. As community members heard, Sheffield is now mourning another officer. Officer John Christian Nix has served with the Sheffield Police Department since 2017. And Police Chief Ricky Terry describes him as an outstanding officer who was loved by the community. Now, suicide is a really difficult topic to talk about. But on a day when the community honors one officer killed in the line of duty, it's important to mention another statistic that takes even more officers. On this very day, some of you may not know, Another statistic hits close to home. In 2021, 239 police officers committed suicide. 104 were killed in the line of duty. 239 last year committed suicide. I spoke with one officer at the luncheon today about accumulative PTSD. The fact that every stressful call for help and active service, it really builds up over time. And without a proper outlet to turn to for help, it's only a matter of time before one more traumatic event can push someone past their breaking point. Now, Nick Reisner's brother, Tony, says Nick was very vocal about the importance of mental health awareness. He says just like how change came from the horrific loss of his brother's life, he hopes some change will happen from today's tragedy as well. I'll more on the conversations he hopes will come from this loss. All of that tonight on Way 31 News at 6. Reporting live in Sheffield, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. Thanks, Nicole. If you or someone you know is suffering from suicidal thoughts, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. We have that number on our website, waytv.com.